good morning from Epcot. We are here today because it is still Food and Wine Festival. Like we said last time, there are plenty of chances for us to come out here, try new things, try different foods, try stuff that we haven't tried in a while. It's gonna be a good time. We also have a very special guest here with us. Who's here? Uh, I've heard- Special guest? Pluto? Yeah, I've, Pluto. Yeah, I've heard rumors that the, uh, I don't know, I was gonna think of somebody that was here, like, Neil Patrick, You're here. Neil Patrick Harris? I've seen Neil Patrick. I saw Neil Patrick Harris at the Osborne Lights, dancing with his kids. And didn't you have a Cobb salad near him? I at did, yeah. Hollywood Studios? Yeah. I remember things you tell me sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Who, else, who have you seen in the parks? I saw Stamos at Disneyland. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen. I've seen Stamos before. I saw Warwick Davis at the Grand Floridian. Oh, I saw the guy that played Darth Vader back in, back in the day, back at uh, the, the Star Wars days. What's it called? Not Darth Vader? The guy who played Darth Vader. But not he, not James Earl Jones. No, no, the other guy. The guy that was in the suit. The guy who was in Clockwork Orange, the bodybuilder guy. No idea who that is. The guy who played Darth Vader! Well, I don't know who that is. a couple years ago. I don't remember his name. See? Star you Wars Weekends. You can't get mad at it's me. Been 10 for, years ago since What about Darth Maul? I feel like you've seen Darth Maul, the guy that plays Darth Maul. Ray someone. Yeah, Ray... Leota. No, Ray Kroc. That's the guy that created McDonald's. <laughs> we're, we're super, super uh, Star Wars fans. You know who voiced Yoda though, right? I do. Who is it? The same guy that directed What About Bob and... What About Bob? Yes. Really? Yeah, the guy, who, the, the guy that was in The Muppets. Yeah, Frank Oz. Right. He but, directed What About Bob and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Let me ask you something. I've always wanted a shirt that says, don't hassle me, I'm local. Yes. Do you think that that would go over well at Walt Disney World? You can get away with it. I don't know if I can. Let's go eat some food. Do you guys know that I like to judge my, my crowd level by the line at Spaceship Earth? Pretty long today. All right, so we're here at Food & Wine. We're going to start over in World Showcase. But I kind of want Adam to show me his best a meal eating a, a blueberry. Two blueberries. The likeness is uncanny. Do you have any brothers named Remy? No, I have no. no brothers. I have a sister. It's almost like I'm eating corn on the cob, though. If he was eating corn on the cob, yeah, I'd be see interpreting that. it better. Do you know how to cook? No. You know, everybody can cook. My version of cooking is going through the Wendy's drive-thru. Oh, why Wendy's? They let's, have good let's, sal let's experiment. I let's... like their salads. Okay. And they have baked potatoes. Yeah, that's true. And also, healthy option, even though the bread's not good a chicken sandwich, so I'll get that sometimes. Okay. But if I'm trying to lose weight, which I kind of am, but today everything's off the rail. Today's a cheat day. Oh yeah, everything's off the rail. We started out and your Wendy's, video off the rails. Wendy's is very close to celebration, so it's just easy to zip in there. Okay. We make it to our first booth of Hawaii, and I always find it interesting that some of these booths are not open yet. Like, it's after 11, oh no, it's not after 11. Not after the booths 11. don't open until 11, but this says coming July soon. 14th, which is in the past, so you'd think it would be open. Yeah, so this one doesn't open until like August, something i'll find out really quick i said it in the last video but yeah there are specific booths around that are just opening later in the season how are you gonna find out you gonna ask someone no it's on the internet what's that when it opens actually it's in your oh, book if you've internet? got the passport it's a uh, it's a place where you can learn stuff oh see that's what you get that's what you get all right august 15th is when the hawaii booth opens i found it out we passed by Shimmering Sips, which has something new. It has the guava mousse, which is new this year. I learned something new today. What's that? Australia, the country, was introduced in 1997. No, just this booth. Oh, just the booth? Right here. Oh, okay. Is this traditional Australian architecture? Look, there's Remy up top. If you're doing the Remy hide and squeak, there he is. It's called hide and squeak? It's called hide and squeak. I love that. Yeah, it's a good play on words. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to get a wristband. I just saw someone with a wristband. Oh yeah, nice, nice that gift card. I have to use my credit card 80 times. So. Yeah. So You're gonna you buy 80 things? You can get one right here. I can buy one here? I think so. Let's find out. So we did, we did find out that they do not sell the wristbands here, the gift cards. So Adam went into yeah. Port of Entry over here to buy one. But we are over here at Australia, and the, uh, the new thing here is the Lamington. And that is something that I know the name of from Bluey. So I think I'm gonna get some right there. It sounds good, but nothing else is new. Oh, but these are also gluten friendly. All right, here's my lamington or lemmington. How would you pronounce it if you're from Australia? On the spot. Lammy. Lammy? Yeah, yeah. Lamington. I think I went with Crocodile Dundee side. This is a lamington. A lamington, yeah. Okay. That's, oh, you got a fork. I was gonna say, that's not a knife. This is a knife, but it's a fork. Oh yeah, that's not a fork. 
Uh, so this is yellow cake with raspberry filling dipped in chocolate and coconut. Which sounds delicious. How much did I say this was? Four dollars and fifty cents. That's it? Yeah. Which is the water itself was three dollars and fifty cents. So I feel like I'm getting kind of a good deal, right? Give this a try. I'm living out my bluey dreams right now. That was fantastic. The chocolate's really good, and the raspberry in the center also makes the the cake moister than it is. So they can make like a drier actual cake, and then the raspberry and the chocolate make it taste moist. Very little coconut flavor to it. I love that. I would eat that all the time. It tasted like breakfast, but a little sweet. Like if you're having a sweet breakfast, like a nice chocolate. If you have a chocolate pancake, you know that's like a sweet breakfast? Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. It doesn't taste like a chocolate pancake. And I know that that's confusing, but it is very How good. How many people at 10 a.m. in the morning do you think eat cake? Hi, we watch you all the time. Thank you, thank you. I know this is gonna be controversial, but Bill Cosby has a whole bit about eating cake for breakfast. Does he? Yeah. What album was that on? The one, the Daddy's the Great. The one? Yeah, the only one that I know is <laughs> <laughs> is, is, there more, is there more than one? There's a bunch. There's oh. Why Is There Air? There's Revenge. So it's, so it's all about him being better than the mom because he gives the kids chocolate cake. That's a deep cut. I've never heard that one. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. Minnie Mouse. I feel like a, like a paparazzi or something. Where's she going? She's going to her meet and greet. She has a meet and greet over there now? I think she's where Duffy used to be. You know that like little pavilion? That it's little that like way, gazebo? Though. Yeah, it is. It's like right there. Oh. It's across. just on the other side, yeah, so she's not out in the public. All right, so we are kind of like circling back a little bit because as I was eating that, Adam's like, I don't know what I want to have. And he's like, did you hear about the wings and crazy wings over in the Odyssey building? So we're going to go over to the Odyssey and try some of these wings at Brew Wing is the name of the area. It's not a booth, it's a full building. Yeah. Have you been in the Odyssey building since they, take, they took down the previous center? Yeah. It's kind of sad. It is sad. I missed the previous center. Right? There is another one of the booths that's not open currently but will be open come August, August 15th. The noodle exchange, and we had this before, and it tasted like bacon soup, and it was delicious. The second wave. The, the second, second wave. wave of food and wine. Oh. Look at this. What? Oh. You know that if you wave at the monorail first, and then I wave, mine's the second wave. Right? There's Minnie Mouse. There she is, right there, underneath the pavilion. We talked about how we saw her walk into the pavilion. She was going there. Yeah. Here's the menu for the noodle exchange, too. This is, I think, what I had here, the Chinese char siu pu pork udon. You think Duffy will ever come back? No, which is sad. I kind of miss Duffy. Yeah, you got to go out to Japan or Hawaii to That's see Duffy. too far of a commute. I don't love Duffy that much. Oh, well, okay. So we just had, this is this is Adam the Woo, right? You are a Disney goer. I go to Disney. You go often. to Disney, and I'm you've an been to Passover. food and wine before, right? Have. That was a, a weird inflection on that one. But you had some confusion about Emile's fromage montage. Yes. Looking at this, you said, oh, look at this. I want to eat that macaroni and cheese right there. Can Looks I get, really good. Can I get that right now? Can you get it here? Yes. No, because this isn't the menu for this. This is. Emile's fromage montage is an event that's happening right now, like a scavenger hunt in type August. thing. No, it's happening right You can get the macaroni and cheese in August. But there are five uh, things on here that you can get right now. So it's a long-term scavenger well, hunt. Open up your little bookie, and I'll show you your passport. I have a bookie? Hey, you got a little passport. I think I might have lost it, Tim. So the mac and cheese is at a place called Mac and Eats. That opens on August 15th. So go to the very last page. Coastal Eats, Mac and Eats. Right, Mac and, mac and Eats, uh, yeah. That reminds me of Mac right? and Me, that this film, cowboy, 80s film. Cowboy Mac and Cheese is amazing, by the way. But this booth doesn't open until August 15th, oh, right? Open August. in August. So go to the very last page. Okay. This is Emile's fromage montage. You pick five items or you can just eat one thing five times and you fill out stamps here, five of them, and then you get a completer prize, just like the cookie trail or something like that. So you don't know what that is till August, the completer. No, no, you can get the completer thing now. It's at Shimmering Sips right there, right? It's very confusing. It's very confusing. You know what, though? Is it that, at Shimmering Sips? That gets you coming back. What does it say? Yeah, visit Shimmering Sips for your surprise. Yeah. Sponsored by Corksicle. Yeah, just that booth. It's a fun Not this though. event. Not the Emile's Fromage Montage. Even more confusing. I'm going to come back in August and get the mac and cheese. Okay, that's good, but you don't have to come back in August to You're... complete Emile's Fromage Montage. You can do it now. But I want mac and cheese. Yes. This one goes to 11, Tim. Okay. <laughs> so after looking at Disney Parks blog to see what was new, 
the grilled pork shoulder lettuce wrap here at the Swanky Saucy Swine is new, so we're gonna get that. Also very confused as to select dishes featuring Melissa's produce. What does that mean? Is there a company called Melissa's Produce? I'm gonna look it up, it sounds interesting. But yeah, we were making our way to the Odyssey building and I said that we were gonna go to the Odyssey building, but we stopped off here first. You got the pork rinds and we talked about Emile's fromage montage. Did you get your, your stamp? No. Cause this is one of the items. You gotta go back up and get your stamp do so I have, you do can- I really have to? You don't have to. I'll be all right. You feel, I feel like you're missing out on an opportunity though. You Should gotta I? eat more cheese after this. Should I go back up there and get a stamp? No, it's fine. It's up to you. You want to know? Right. You want to stamp? I don't All right. Stamp. I asked about Melissa's Produce. Nobody really knew. No one they just knew. think that it's like it's just the produce is provided by a company called Melissa's Produce. Maybe they're a sponsor. Who knows? I'm thinking it has something to do with the land pavilion because doesn't the land provide a lot of the, the produce? Yeah, but I would. I don't think they would provide the produce for a festival. Probably for like Vicky and Al's or something like that. Or Sunshine Seasons. Sunshine Seasons. Yeah. Even Sunshine Seasons seems too big. I feel like it has to be a small restaurant, right? I don't know. It's a good question. Like there's not a lot of produce coming out of the land. Put me on the spot with all these questions. I don't really know. I don't oh. know have the answer to. Them. Can you grill me something really quick? I just don't. <laughs> so you got the pork rinds, which I had before, and they're delicious. And I got the lettuce wrap. This is the pork shoulder lettuce wrap. So this was five dollars and twenty-five cents. It's called the grilled pork shoulder lettuce wrap with charred corn salsa, pickled red onion, and cilantro lime crema. It is gluten slash wheat friendly. It looks really nice. All right, let's give it a try here. Ooh, the pork is very warm. And also, look at the drip. Holy macaroni. Mm. The pork itself is warm. The lime crema gives it like a nice punch of lime in there. Corn's a charred corn salsa. Delicious. Wow. Not normally a huge fan of corn, but like the, the mixture of the pork and the corn together. Mm. Also, there is cilantro in there, so if you're not a fan of cilantro, you might not be a fan of this dish, but I happen to enjoy it, and this is so good. All right, here we are over at the Odyssey building. We're gonna head into brewing at the Odyssey, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. I like how you're hiding in the bushes. Here's a look at the menu. We've got a few things that are new this year. The sticky wings with peanut sauce and grape gel like peanut butter and jelly. I feel like that's what you're getting. That's what I'm gonna get. And then the dry rub jerk spice wings with papaya chili sauce. That's hot. I think I'm just gonna get the peanut butter and jelly one. They also have crispy Brussels sprouts with buffalo sauce. That's not new, but it is plant-based. Looking in at the Odyssey, there used to be a, like a, a future center here that kind of told you the things that were coming to Epcot and they have since taken it down. They left the grid up on the ceiling though. This circular grid was what they used to project down onto it. And the speakers there, all pointing towards the center. And the last time I was in here, there was a wall up in front of this stage, which they have since taken down. So they could return the the like the the center, like what is it, like the preview center for what's to come to Epcot after the festival, because they still have the grid work up here. Post D23. Post D23 after they announce the is wall it statue to be coming. Nostalgic for something that just happened a year ago. I miss the preview center. Yeah. I miss it. I loved it in here. You know, it's weird. Oh, there it is. I was like, there used to be a booth in here. And there it is, right there. Because there used to be a show up on the stage right. with all the Disney characters. Yeah, where they would be in like their space outfits with the rainbow on the front. Oh, yeah, Mickey, Goofy. Yeah, Mickey, and... Goofy, Pluto, Minnie. They were up here in their space outfits. That would be awesome. To see. Are you, uh, you nostalgic now? I'm more nostalgic about the previous center. I love the previous center and all the old Epcot posters. Yeah. What do they do with those? They sell them. Did Not the ones one? that were here, but you could buy those posters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the oversized ones. Oh, I yeah, I don't know where those go. Huge ones. That's a good question. I love the mural that was there. Gone. Oh, yeah. It was good. History. All the There was like stuff like talking about Guardians of the Galaxy, too, like the, the, the outfits and things. I love the preview center. My hack was I'd go over to Mexico Pavilion, I would get nachos, I'd come over here and eat them in the preview center. Oh, that that's a good idea. It's oh, a good hack. The hack's over. Gone. Doesn't history. You can still eat stuff in here. I can still get nachos. The hack still could happen. Yeah. Here's what I got. I got the peanut butter and jelly wings. They call them PB&J wings. But these are sticky wings with peanut sauce and grape gel, and they were $7.50. Came with some celery and then I got some ranch underneath to try and dip those in, but I'm gonna try them without the ranch first. Oh, they're super sticky. I didn't expect them to be this sticky. 
very peanut buttery. This is good. Can you really taste the peanut butter? That's about all you can taste. Really? Actually, you can taste the jelly a little bit too, but like, not any chicken. Not really tasting any chicken. This is good, but it's kind of novel, right? I don't know that I would just eat this all the time. It's like an interesting flavor, but it's not like a peanut butter and jelly hamburger, which I would eat all the time. Those are delicious. Had a PBJ hamburger? Peanut butter and bacon too. <clears throat> peanut butter and bacon on a hamburger are really good. This is just okay. I'll call this just okay. It's kind of overpowered with peanut Pretty butter. Pretty all right? Pretty all right. That's your saying, right? Pretty yeah. all right? Pretty all right? It's in my repertoire. Have you ever had a Brussels sprout? Yeah, of course. Have you? You're just saying that because you just put that one in your mouth and you're like, yeah, this is my first one ever. I love Brussels sprouts. Do you? Oh, yeah. All right, we are back, moving our way around World Showcase. We showed you guys this Hawaii booth earlier, so this is the direction that we're headed. We're finally Heading. heading into World Showcase. Finally heading into World Showcase. We already... I had the Lamington. Lemmington. That's true. Yeah. Would you consider that in World Showcase? I guess it is. That's Future World. Brewing? Future World does not exist anymore, Tom. Oh. That's, Sorry, that's... That's old school Epcot. What's it called now? It's now called something... It's called World Nature. World... There's World Nature. There's World Discovery. There's World Showcase, and there's one more. I don't know what the fourth one is. I don't know. It's going to take a long time to get used to not saying Future World. I know. So we're going to go past a few booths here. I think our next booth that we can get something new at is Brazil. We might stop for Adam. Adam might get something. But I'm only doing new stuff. Well, I'm going to do mostly new stuff. The Brazilian cheese bread i got to get. But we're heading to Brazil. Passed by a festival marketplace near Canada. And there's some stuff here that I haven't seen. All kinds of orange bird stuff. Ooh, I feel like I have seen this, actually. Maybe I have. There's so much merch. I, I really like this coffee mug, though. It's all dimpled like an orange. An orange bird on it. Twenty dollars. It says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. A nice watering can, kissed by the sun. Ooh, like this bag. This is a nice bag. It's kind of squishy. And this is seventy dollars. Not any brand though. Huh. Is it a flower pot? I think it might be. Or a bowl? It's very heavy. Thirty dollars. All right, we're heading through France. Nothing new here for the festival. So we're headed over to the next booth, which is Brazil, which is right there. Here we are, we're at the Brazil booth. We're gonna get the black beans with crispy pork belly, Brazil nut pesto, and Ben's original long grain white rice for $6.25. But we're also gonna get the cheese bread because it is delicious. Interesting fact, it's cheese bread, but it is gluten friendly. We came back into Morocco after getting our Brazilian food because there is a nice little seating area back here. Now, there's a bar here, but nobody's ever at this bar until later in the evening time. So right now, lots of open tables like this. So I am going to attempt to say this name. Frijota, which is black beans with crispy pork belly, Brazil nut pesto, and Ben's original long grain white rice. And this was $6.25. And then I've already started digging into the Brazilian cheese bread. And this was $4.75. So far, this is so delicious, and I can't wait to try this. It looks really nice. Now let's give this pork belly a try. I got like a bite of everything. That is so good. Wow. A little bit of spice in there. The beans and the rice together. I don't really like long grain white rice, but that is so good. Wow. There's like so many different complex flavors in there. The, what is it? The Brazil nut pesto. I think that's what it is. I can smell the pesto. Wow. I that can is smell it. so good. I can't even describe the flavors in it. It's just like a conglomerate of flavors all mixed together. So, so good. So we've made it over to Greece and they do have a new item here. This lamb gyro is new, but I'm kind of feeling like I'm in the mood for a dessert. So we're going to try to find a new dessert as we walk around. Because I feel like I've eaten a lot of savory things. I'm reaching the limit of my savoriness. As I was looking through the menu, it feels like dessert is kind of few and far between. Uh, I think we have to go over to Flavors from Fire, which is where we had that like s'mores type cake before. I don't know, I'm gonna keep my eye out though. Passing by the America Pavilion, there's a festival marketplace here. An interesting thing, they have some leftover Flower and Garden merch that never made it out during Flower and Garden. So this is like a Mickey Topiary plush for $30 is adorable, but it's not Flower and Garden right now. It is food and wine. Each of the bead concert series which happens here at the American Garden Theater right behind us here. But I wanted to point out. Who are you gonna call? 
Oh, Ray Kroc, Ray Parker Jr. I almost said Ray Kroc Jr. That's where call callback. McDonald's. McDonald's. We said that earlier. That Look at how good. many concerts there are, though. July all the way to November. I might have to go to the Ray Parker. Okay. Dude, he's gonna play the Ghostbusters theme. He has to. So I went and saw. Is he allowed to? Yes. That's Universal Music Group. I saw him at a Ghostbusters reunion at Sony Pictures. Ooh. He did like a 20-minute rendition of Who You Gonna Call. Wow. I knew who to call. Yeah, you called the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Right? You yes. call you call Egon. I might wear my Ghostbusters shirt. What did come you out here on that night? What did you think about Afterlife? I didn't see it. Oh, it's good. You should I see heard. it. Yeah, yeah. It has the kids uh, from Stranger Things in it. Yeah. And it. He's in every movie now. Yeah, but he he doesn't play as big of a role as the he girl. Doesn't. Okay. No. I gotta see She's it. the main character. Don't give me any spoilers. No spoilers. Well, look, Tiffany's back. Yeah. And Taylor Dane. Taylor Dane. Wait, what's the date today? Today's the twenty fifth. So we got Jeremy, Jeremy Camp. Jeremy I don't Camp. know who Jeremy Camp is. Do it's, you? No, because he's new. Oh yeah, Tonic is new though. Who else is new? Foreigners. <laughs> Foreigners Journey. Foreigners Journey. It's a cover band. <laughs> BB Mac. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. Ray Parker. Oh, Billy Ocean. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. Oh yeah. Wasn't that I like that. that. Yeah. What about Thirty Eight Special? Can you name a Thirty Eight Special? Thirty Eight Special song? is not giving. Uh, I'm thinking of Leonard Skinner. Thirty Eight Special is. Drawing a blank. Nah, I'm thinking of all Skinner. Just caught some thunder coming across. Also, a little fun fact, if you're ever at Epcot, always check down this little pathway over here. Because yeah. you never know. Yeah, there might be characters down there. Sometimes some of the characters come out that maybe haven't been out before, and they will come down here and do some meet and greets as they're learning how to interact with guests. I just checked, like you said, no, there's no characters. Yeah, you might see Jiminy Cricket. Like rare characters like that. You might see uh, Foul Fel Gideon and Foul Fellow. You never know. I'm just naming Pinocchio characters now. That's a good little uh, little tip though. Yeah. Always check here. Always. Because this is where, When's the last this time is the proving ground. Since 2020, have you seen that happen? I haven't seen, yeah, I've seen pictures of it happen, but I've also been here on the 4th of July and I saw Colonial Chip and Dale. It used to happen here. all the time. Yeah. But since 2020, a lot Yeah, of stuff I've has seen changed. pictures of it happening. So, I know that it is happening currently. I wish it was happening right now. It's not, I'm sorry. I'd love to see Gemini Cricket. All right, as we're passing by, I think we might stop off at the Gelatera Toscana to try to get some gelato. Maybe a nice pistachio gelato. Ooh, you know what's interesting about filming with you? Is I forget that I didn't tell my camera where we were going and I was just about to be like, oh, I got a pistachio, like I told you. Because you and I. The people that watch both videos. At least, At least three? one out of 20 that watch yours watch mine. I'd say okay. one out of 20. All right. How many people are named Steve in that one out of 20? 17. Okay. Ooh, $7.95 for two scoops of gelato, pistachio, and chocolate. Kind of expensive. I did get a water, too, and it's this fancy San Benedetto water. Never seen this before. So admittedly, I think that I would have been happier with the vanilla and pistachio, even though chocolate pistachio was really good. The pistachio was really, really good. Chocolate had a little bit of a strange flavor to it. Right, right. I like how he's getting a double bass sound out of not a bass drum. He's doing that with his hands. We've had this thing going on all day where we're talking about cheese. This entire booth is all cheese. That's all that they serve. Oh, all cheese? Oh, they're playing the spoons over there. Look at that. Remember Soundgarden had a song about that. Yeah, Spoon Man. You know what it's called when you do it without a spoon? Oh, knee slapping. Ham boning. Ham boning. Yeah, ham bone. So one o'clock, one o'clock rolled around and we thought, Oh, let's try to get a Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group. And so we forgot about it because there was that band playing the drums. And, or no, we got this, we got ice cream, we got gelato, and one o'clock passed. So at 1 or 110, we tried. We got a boarding group, but our boarding group was 180, and they're calling 80 right now. So 100 boarding groups from now, 500 minute wait is what they're quoting us. I don't think we'll be here for that. But it was an attempt. An attempt was made. Getting flashbacks to Typhoon Lagoon. So I was just at Typhoon Lagoon. And I kept looking up and seeing storm clouds rolling in. I thought it was gonna rain, never rained. Same thing, do you have a bug on your forehead right now? You want me to get it? 
There you go. Same thing happened today. It looked like it was gonna rain. Was it a fly? <laughs> yeah, it was like a little gnat. You should have left it there. It Why? Let it just sit there. You ever see Troll 2? No. When the guy's like, when he's like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna eat her. And then he's gonna eat me. Oh my God. He got the fly right on his head. Okay. I was gonna reenact that, but then you swatted the gnat away. Have you ever seen Evil Dead 2? Of course, What yes. would you say I love it. if I said to you, I haven't seen Evil Dead 2 yet? I think you need to go home and watch it. Have you seen Evil Dead 1? This is a, it's a line from High Fidelity. Oh, That's God. a line from High is Fidelity. That a Jack Black line? It's a Jack Black line. Okay. No, that's John Cusack says that to Jack Black, and he's like, I'd call you a liar because we saw it together. And he's just trying to... Cause, I didn't catch yeah, that. Yeah, you got to see it. Gotta see I've High seen Fidelity. High Fidelity, but I forgot the line was in there. Yeah, what are you asking me if I've seen Evil Dead? I've seen all the Evil Dead. Table Guy, Jack Black's in that too. Table Guy. And he's in Waterworld. Oh yeah, he's in Waterworld. He's World. the pilot in Waterworld. That's true. Which Jack is Black a show has a lot of Studios Hollywood. That's true. We were just talking about that. You were? Yeah, you and I, not on camera. This is behind the scenes. We were? We were talking about Jupiter's Claim. And then horror movies. Oh, we were talking about Jordan Peele's... Jordan Peele's Nope. Nope. Which yeah. was not filmed at Universal. I don't think so, at No least. one cares. So we're about they do this. care. Everybody cares. People care. Is that an REM song? Oh, it's everybody hurts. Everybody hurts. Everybody hurts. Everybody hurts. Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, he's getting fist bumps and like making fun noises with everybody. How's it going, I can? Oh, I like it. Oh, I bet. I'm gorgeous. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I can't help it. I was built beautiful. I like that. That's like a Jessica Rabbit quote. Oh, so is she some sort of human robot? No, she's a cartoon character. She's not bad. She was just drawn that way. Oh. And where are you from? Him or me? I'm from just down the road in Celebration. Both of you. Oh, I'm from Florida. I'm from Orlando. Oh, Florida on Earth. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a lot closer. Well, where are you from? Florida, Florida, 15,000 light years that way. Oh. Believe it or not, it's a little bit hotter. Oh. Okay. Jeez. I look good in that one. Funny? Funny? He's funny? Un paquito. Oh, yeah! So a lady came up to ICANN. ICANN is this robot. He hangs out over here near Guardians of the Galaxy. I've been left hanging. Oh no. And somebody asked him if he speaks Spanish and he's like un poquito. He's got a little bit of Spanish. Oh, that's amazing. This is fun. Alright, one more stop because there was something that we passed by earlier that I didn't get because it was like the very first stop of the day. And that's over at Shimmering Sips. They have a guava cake that's new. It's like a guava mousse. And give it a try. That'll be the last thing that we try for today. There's still plenty of other new things for us to try on our next trip. Still got to do Emil's from Osmontage. We still have to do the hide and squeak with Remy. Lots of stuff to do. Do you still. think anybody would ever do a challenge where they ate every single thing from every booth? Has anyone done that? That's too much food. That's too much, but I'm sure right? someone's tried it. Hey. hey! All right, we've hey, made it back to Shimmering Sips. And I'm going to get the guava mousse. Sounds real delicious and a nice way to end out the day. All right, here it is. This is our last thing. This was $4.75 and this is plant-based. All right, let's give it a try. Some guava mousse with lime, whipped lime. cream, coconut, and a sugar cookie base. That's delicious. Nice little guava mousse. Admittedly though, kind of wish it wasn't guava. I was like kind of would have rather had maybe some lime or like maybe an orange flavor. Still good, but I think there are other, maybe a mango. Ooh, mango. That would have been really good at mango. I can't really taste the coconut. The coconut's pretty disguised in it. You hate coconut. I don't like coconut at all. I don't do know you hate it? Hey, okay. I just do not care for it. You're anti-coconut. I'm not, I don't like coconut. Okay. But this is edible. Hmm, interesting. Disney is doing like a commercial video shoot like right in front of us here. And I got some inside baseball for you. If you ever see somebody in a Disney photo or like a Disney video ad and they have a glass of wine, 
not really wine. It's just grape juice. Saw them bring over the bottle of grape juice. Really? There you go. Inside baseball. Now you guys know. What's if the they're, baseball? If they're cheering, that's what, just what you call it when you like behind the scenes. Oh. Like you're learning the ins and outs of it. You know? So if you ever see a video where people from Disney are cheersing some wine, it's not really wine. There you go. I've cheered at baseball games. That's why I thought the cheering had to do with baseball. I like yeah. baseball. I know. Who's your favorite baseball player of all time and with not saying Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson would be my number one. Who's your number two then, I guess? Ken Griffey Jr. maybe, Roger Clemens, Nolan Ryan. I would say Clemens and Nolan Ryan, two best okay. pitchers ever, ever in the game. Who was who was the pitcher that, that knocked that bird out of the air? Uh, oh, that was the guy with the big... Um, Randy, Randy? Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. Yeah, yeah. That was a, a moment in time, right? Amazing. Yeah, amazing. What are the chances? Not if you were the bird. You were right, that bird's day. not having a good day. No. But what are the chances? Odds. The odds are slim to none. Hasn't ever happened before. Never and never again. Right? As far as I know. Has the thing that happened to Fabio ever happened before? Oh, he got hit by a he bird by a on a goose. roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Or a duck? Was it a duck or a goose? Has that happened to anybody else? If it has, on we probably coaster? just yeah, we probably just haven't heard about it because it wasn't Fabio. Huh? I always think about that when I'm on a roller coaster, though. Yeah. You could not on Guardians here. You would never get hit. Never by get a bird. hit by a bird because no. it's inside. A lot of people want me to talk to Mr. Adam the Wu about DVC. So he's taking me up to the DVC lounge. People have asked you to ask me about DVC? Yeah, because I'm always interested in it. Yeah. Because every bit of math that I've ever done doesn't work out. Okay. It doesn't work out for my favor, not for seven years. And that's seven two, years. Seven years until I'm making, until I've paid off paid enough off. for it to be worth it. Well, the contracts are 40 to 50 years, depending on where you get them. Right. But you pay on it for 10. So wait, do you think that you've, you've well, used it enough here's to... My well, what I did is I saved the money ahead of time. Oh, you just paid it so in full? I just, I just paid it in full. Okay. There's that option. If, so I didn't do it until I knew I had the money there. So right. All I now have to do is just pay my yearly dues, which isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. But for me, I have availability all the time, so I don't have to work around like school schedules. I'm not going to book something on Christmas week to, to New Year's, so I'm doing okay. it in the off times. So I can get rooms for six to eight points, where if you're in the busy time, you're spending 15, 20 points a room. So for okay. me, it works out. I can get better use of my points because I have more availability. So for me personally, it works. I don't know if it'd work out for everyone. But I feel like instead of does. instead of buying DVC, I would rather just buy a horse. A horse? Yeah, because Mickey is telling me. He's saying, get a horse. <laughs> right? If you want a horse, you're not going to get... I DV, mean, this this sign is not saying buy DVC. Does a horse live 44 years? No. DVC does. Does it? Yes. Okay. Unless you're at one well, of the... Are you calling Mickey Mouse a liar? Yes. Oh, man. Well, we were originally going to go up to the DVC <laughs> lounge, but uh, it's a 25 minute wait. So they say. So they say. Yeah. All right. It hasn't been that long, but we got the text message. Yeah. So it wasn't exactly even 25 how long minutes. It was. it was. We got the first text 209. It's 218. Nine okay. minutes. Okay. Nine minutes. Let's go up inside. The DVC lounge at the top of the Imagination Pavilion. So this would be one of the perks that you would get for being a DVC member. So you get to go up into this lounge at the top of the Imagination Pavilion in Epcot. This is the only one in Walt Disney World is at Epcot. All right, here we are. The DVC lounge. This used to be Part of the Imagination Pavilion. All right, we made it back out in enough time for it to be drizzling on us a little bit. So I think we're gonna call it a day, get out before any heavy rain really shows up. As we're passing by, you can see Moana's shape of water starting to take shape. Speaking of shape of water, it did start raining a little bit harder. So we've got our umbrellas out. And then Spaceship Earth. Fun fact, Adam and I had a delicious date here at the Coral Reef. Reef. The Coral Reef. That was what, six months ago, a year ago? That was a long time ago. A year ago. I feel like it was probably three years ago. It was before pandemic. Was Pandemic's ago. been going on for two years now. Okay, yeah. So I lose all track of time. Yeah. You ever do that though? I don't know. 2020, 21, and 22 are all just like... It's just one year. One year. The last fun fact of the day, on July 27th, here at Pin Traders, they will be selling Magic Band Plus. It goes on sale everywhere on the 27th, but this is the Epcot location that they will be selling it. All right. End of the day here. Well, it's actually not the end of the day. It's about three o'clock. Nice early day. The rain actually stopped now. It's 
it's gonna be a, it was a good day, right? So what was your favorite thing that you ate? Probably the dessert. Which was really the, like the, the, the guava cake? No, the ice cream thing. Oh, okay, not even something that's here for flour and or for food and wine. Yeah, that's true. Just like something that's just always here. Oh, I like the cheese biscuit. Oh, oh the cheese. cheese. What's it called? Monorail. The cheese. Uh, cheese bread. Cheese bread. Yeah, that was Brazilian amazing. cheese bread. Delicious. I will say it did not look appetizing until I ate it. It's very good. And then when it? I bit into it, I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah. I got my quota of cheese. Right. It I like good. that. I like that. Do you like the wings? These were okay. Okay. They were a little, like you said, they're a little dry. A little dry. Yeah. They Not were good, my favorite thing. What was so good? Much. Oh, that pork belly was so good from Brazil. I think you liked almost everything. You I had. think I did, except for the, except for I, I didn't, I wasn't truly a fan of the chicken wings. The wings. They were all That's right. it. Everything else was really good. The Brussels sprouts I preferred more than the wings, honestly. Okay. I like the Brussels sprouts. They're I good. would agree with that. I had one of yours. They were good. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm Sierra. I'm Kathy. And now it's time to pay the price.